Hello, Gravy Timothy, and you know what? I'm gonna say it. I really like this new Hoi 4 opening screen. It's pretty cool. You know, because uh, there's been a lot of opening screens for Hoi 4 at this point with all the DLC. It would be nice now they've added this little blip thing down here to let you know what you've uh, wasted your money on. Uh, if you could actually click on them and switch between them. Or just do it in general, because there are a few that I miss. But enough Alex Von rambling. Let's get into today's episode. Uh, you see, I'm currently doing a little series where I'm looking at every nation and their focus tree and doing the focus trees no one really does because they suck. And I'm going through these nations alphabetically. So today, we're still in B for Bulgaria. Now, Bulgaria got their focus tree in Battle for the Bosphorus, and I have to say it was my favorite out of those nations that got one. Greece and Turkey, let's be real. I'm not looking forward to playing Turkey, but Greece actually did kind of grow on me on the last time I played. It wasn't too bad, at least not as bad as I remember it, but Turkey, I'm not happy. Bulgaria, though, I've always had a soft spot for. They're pretty fun to play, but... I guarantee that's not going to be the case today. Now, whilst I do compliment the Bulgarian tree, it is a bit of a chaotic one to really get around. Just looking at it already, and uh, it, it's confusing me, even though I've played it 500 times. So the paths I usually go to Bulgaria, which are the most fun, are either the communist or the democratic. I don't know why the democratics have the same option to do this, but you can unify the Balkans, which is a very, very nice thing to do, I gotta say. Um, also, you can go over on the right side if you want to join the allies and then just puppet all of the Balkans, but you do have to fight them, whereas unification of the Balkans, you just click a few buttons. Uh, there is also like the other communist path over here where you just ally with the Soviets, which is looking pretty terrible, I won't lie, but once again, you also just get war goals on quite a few people. Um, <laughs> the Germans, the Italians, and Yugoslavia. Oh, hold on a sec, where, which video was it where I made the Griso Slavia t-shirt? Can I get a picture of that on screen right now? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which video? Was that an A to Z? I think that was an A to Z. Yeah, it's the unstoppable force of Yugoslavia and Greece combined to create Greece oh Slavia. You know what? New merch available. You guys love the Greece Slavia t-shirt from back in the day at the mighty nation of Greece and Yugoslavia combined. Well, why not revisit Greece Slavia and get yourself this new shirt? That's right. I revisited Greece Slavia and they stole my other shirt. Uh, limited time offer. Click it down below. It's probably not going to last too long. And I imagine I'm probably going to get sued by either Greece or one of the former Yugoslavian states pretty soon. So anyway, back to the big old mess of the bull. Bulgarian tree, and I think what we're gonna do is the probably the worst one I can see, which is actually just going historical. Yeah, unsurprisingly, in a focus tree where you can call all the Balkans, and I think most of Turkey, uh, the going the historical route is definitely the worst part. Okay, so I am definitely gonna still try and expand, which means I am rushing down the right side of the tree here as quickly as I physically can, and then just ignoring the whole economy thing and hoping that, uh, We'll have an economy at some point. Okay, we've gone ahead and decided that having a czar is just not going to cut it. Goodbye, bodies. Um, I really love the click fate of the Balkans, but that is that is just too much fun in one focus right there. Sadly, we <laughs> no fun allowed. But we have now flipped, and we need to get out of our army restrictions and start doing a little bit of expanding before things get a little bit too spicy, even if I probably can't, because I actually need to get 35% world tension for us to even get a war goal, which, um, yeah, that's not fun. But interestingly enough, when I do join the tribe, part I if I do the peaceful development over here it gives me the unlock secure occupation decision which I can give I think the axis can give me land and I really really want Macedonia and well all of Yugoslavia really they got some really nice resources I mean I I just justify but um Bulgaria is not allowed to have fun. Okay, the time has come where I gotta make the decision of if I'm gonna do peaceful development or total war. Now, total war does immediately just put us at war with uh, anyone the Germans are gonna be at war with. And it doesn't really give us too much except uh, a war goal on the Romanians and a few added bonuses that I don't think we really need. I'd much rather be able to fight on our own accord and not go to war with the, uh, the allies and stuff right away. Uh, because yes, he is 
is uh, most certainly going to war with the Allies before I can get that focus down. So instead, I think I might go for peaceful development and see what this actually does with uh, securing the occupation. Because I don't know if that's going to put us at war if I even need to be because I've never done it before. I do have a bit of a wacky plan for how I'm going to play this out, by the way. And I'm sure you keen-eyed little Timmy's already may have spotted me getting my air experience up because I'm going to be doing paratroopers. Okay, I'm pretty much about to uh, join the conflict now and see if we can get a capitulation on the UK with my paratrooper bros. Thank God for the global market thing, by the way, because I just realized I have no convoys, so I don't know how I'd exactly get over there. Well, before I do that, they've gone ahead and actually invaded Yugoslavia, and I can just get land for free without being in the war by offering to do the occupation. Nice. Oh, this is this is actually kind of funny. Uh, it does cost us like straight up manpower, uh, 5,000 for each state, but um, yeah, not bad, I guess. It's kind of funny. I'm not even in the war. Just look how much land I just got given for free. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I need to actually get involved here. I'm ready to go and we're going to see if I can get a, a little landing off in the UK. I'm going to take a precautionary save in, in case I can't do well, I only got two of them off, but I think I might be able to force attack them out of that port right there. Hey, I lost a guy, but I did. Well, actually, this ain't going to be a very pretty invasion. <laughs> I'm hoping the, uh, the Germans turn up and help me. Be real view, I don't think we're gonna get them to capitulate before America joins the war. I think they just actually declared war on the Philippines. So as soon as Japan declares war on the British uh, British colonies down there, it's so over. Uh, I do have a save, which means we can go back if I really need to. But um, the oh wait, no, the Germans are actually finally turning up over here. I don't even know how I just got that capitulation. Uh, I think I must have been the Axis doing something up north because I just got pushed back pretty hard. But there you go. I don't even really know what to take. So I'm just going to take the land that's like bordering me. And I guess I'll try and get a puppet in the UK, actually. That could be kind of useful. I'm going to be real. You you people are not going to be happy with this piece still. It does not look good in the slightest. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought I might run out of manpower. So I puppeted the Bulgaria... Uh, the bu sorry, <laughs> I puppeted the Bulgarian Raj. Yeah, I put down a puppet in India, but uh, it looks like everyone else had the same idea too. Uh, we got everything we kind of wanted over here, except uh, obviously the Peloponnese and West Benin, which is a bit sad. And we got our UK puppet, so you know, I'm not too upset. It was a bit chaotic though, and uh, yeah, I now realize how the uh, the UK capitulated looking at the north up here. Oh, yeah, I also took a couple of the UK ships because obviously we're next going to be at war with the Soviets. And I think I'm going to be way more of a team play, even though I technically did get the capitulation on the UK there. Let that be written in the history books. Oh, funnily enough, I could still actually ask for the uh, occupation of this stuff. I don't think they'll accept any of this, but... um. Did they accept any of it? Oh, there you go. The Germans gave us Northern Slovenia. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now for the Soviets, I am going to have to uh, rebuild my paratroopers. Not a single one of them. Actually, I think two of them did survive. I just turned them into infantry, so you can't even tell where they are anymore. Okay, so next up, I'm definitely going to work on the manpower issue, and uh, I'm just going to steal all the UK and annex them as long with the uh, the Bulgarian Raj over here and steal all their manpower, and we should be good. Uh... Because it's not like we can really get a lot of cores until I finish with my integration campaign, which takes 140 days to do. Hold on a second. Japan just declared war on the German. Oh, wait. They took the British colonies, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's how close we were to failing, by the way, because they would have been then allied with the U.S. And, uh, you know, maybe we should kill the U.S., actually. Oh, and the Italians just immediately started losing uh, all of the African stuff they took up the bridge to Ethiopia. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh, and I'm at war with them, too. That's not great. <laughs> oh, the, my British puppet has gone to take care of it. Now, pretty cool thing I saw down in the focus tree is the Bulgarian Patriarch. Patriarchate. Patri uh, patriarchy. We've got the Bulgarian Patriarchy. And because obviously we've taken all this land now, we get a nice little compliance gain on it all, which is uh, definitely going to help a lot. That's pretty great, actually. I just keep stealing <laughs> tally and land. Yeah, even if they say no, I just keep asking. And they keep giving. And I grow larger. <laughs> They're asking for it back. <laughs> no, Italy, that's not how this works. I'm also working on my annexation of the UK. Not too much left. I need a lot of political power, though. And you know, the most cursed thing is, I thought I actually got the UK as a puppet, but no. 
they're still alive in the Falklands. Okay, already the compliance is just shooting up in all of our states from our uh, little buff we get. So I'm going to say it so far, this focus tree, not as bad as I thought it would be. I say, well, focus tree, I know the focus tree is not bad. The focus path. Yeah, I don't think I even need the help with the Soviets. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the UK annex, get a few, a bit of a little, little bit of compliance on them. I've been spamming out units so that I can steal all their stuff when I do annex them. And then uh, I think we'll pay a little visit to Uncle Sam. Originally, I was just going to play this as like a uh, Axis support, but no, I think it's time to become the Bulgarian superpower. Okay, there goes the UK, and I'm only really interested in taking all your damn manpower. And there you go, 1.8 million manpower. Nice. Oh, and the best part is that compliance is just going to go the hell up. Wait, did I get some of the UK Navy? I did. Wait, they had their Navy. I've got a much larger Navy now. Does that mean that uh, when you do puppets, it doesn't just all go to the old nation? I mean, I guess not. That's not the entire British Navy right there, so I guess we get half of it, which I'm um, not complaining. Oh, so cursed. I have, I have the Dutch ships in here and the Norwegian exiled, like, cruisers and stuff. <laughs> okay, sure thing. Okay, so while the rest of my faction are over here fighting, I'm just gonna go start beef with the Americans. So just keep demanding Zara from the Italians and uh, they have yet to say yes to it, but I imagine if I just keep bursting into uh, Mussolini's office enough, he'll just eventually give it to me, so I'll go away. There you go. <laughs> and it's kind of funny just how powerful Bulgaria is, considering uh, both the compliance gain, the fact you can get five research slots, which even the new South American countries would objectively the most powerful they've ever added to the game, can't even do. And uh, pretty much every path you go down as well gives you cores on the Balkans. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm living life the best I can over here. Yeah, the compliance gain from this part of the tree, though, is absolutely insane. I'm already up to 45% on the British. That is, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not complaining. Maybe proclaiming the third Bulgarian Empire wasn't the best move. I... I do not look good anymore. Cool name, uh, not a cool color. Although technically you could say it is a cool color. Uh, it is pretty funny how this, uh, this just gives you a war goal on Turkey too. Uh, not really gonna bother with that. <laughs> but maybe after I've dealt with the, uh, the US over here. Oh wait, I, I love how they're guaranteed by the UK. Churchill down on his little island like, all right. This is gonna be my final warning. Don't make me come up there. But yeah, as well, I've had the option to switch Prime Minister for a while. I never did it because this guy uh, gives you minus uh, weekly stability. But you know what? I think I'm just gonna click it now for the hell of it. Don't really need this guy anymore because he did give a good amount of recruitable population, but we just stole the entirety of the UK. Okay, you know... Is it too late to go back? Okay, now I kind of got to hope the uh, Germans do join me here or else I'm going to have to uh, find a better way to invade. They will join. Welcome. I just realized hopefully they don't actually get anything in the peace store. Also, why are there no Americans on the front line? Well, um... I guess, free invasion for me. In all fairness, I can get a justification, I think in like 10 days. Uh, that's what I just got out on America because of all of my bonuses. So I don't think they I even had, <laughs> even had a chance to get over here. You know, when I told all those British people when I was conscripting them into the army that I'd be reclaiming uh, the US in the name of the empire, I just didn't tell them which empire that might be. And there goes the Americans. Hopefully, I managed to get all the land here and my Axis bros don't steal it all like they did with the Allies. Ah, oh, now that is a name you don't expect to see over America. Now, somehow, the Axis haven't actually uh, beat the Soviets yet, but I imagine they're probably pretty close. Yep, not bad at all. And the casualties are just as disgusting as they usually are. And I will gonna go uh take care of turkey but they uh joined the axis at some point i didn't realize yeah so i also did collabs on the us and i got 230 percent by looks and somehow we're still preparing our other one are they alive somewhere <sighs> Well, I guess we're just exiling all the major allied players to islands this game around. Uh, yeah, we got the we got the free French on Papi TT. Yeah, the UK over in uh, the Falklands and the South Sandwich Islands and uh, Addo Island. 
Roosevelt is retired there. Yeah, but either way, like, my compliance in the States is already, like, it's gonna be maxed out in no time. And I'm not too sure what to do now. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and backstab the Axis, but because, you know, they're just everywhere. I'm gonna be fighting on so many fronts, I'd rather not deal with the headache of that. I might, uh, guess I go finish up the Japanese. I think, yep, there's still a war, or maybe the Soviets, which, uh... I think we'd go deal with the Japanese. Uh, I did steal the American Navy as well, so uh, I'll go put it to good work over here. Uh, wait a bit to invade the Japanese, as I didn't actually have any naval invasion tech done. But don't worry, I figured out how to get on a boat now. I just realized I'm up to almost 700 factories as Bulgaria. That is, I mean, I sure, I own all the US, but the best part about owning all the US is already up to 100 compliance. That's disgusting. The fact I just land on an island, boom, 3% compliance. They love, everybody loves the Bulgarian. Oh, so cursed. China's joined the Axis because they did uh, want China, which makes them leave the United Front. So, uh, <laughs> sure. Okay, it's such a mess. Well, my, my army was taking so long to get in my land in Japan, and it's because they're doing the long march through China. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. And yeah, nothing says a job well done about uh, invading Japan where you actually have no war score because China's been at war with them since the start of the game. I'm going to take North Korea. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even have North Korea. That's right, baby. Japan and Japan. Same ideology, different leaders. Oh, but you also got the third Bulgarian Empire hanging out over here too. Um, definitely... Uh, not a nice leader to look at. Uh, question is, will they finally capitulate the Soviets? <laughs> They've still not managed it. Also, no idea what happened here, but Denmark has been taken over by Turkey. Oh, if the Germans take Kazan, I'm pretty sure that'll be it for the war, though, and they will get themselves a peace conference. All they need to do is walk into it. They're not walking into it. Yeah, it was the great Bulgarians that finally ended the war that would not end. <laughs> Literally just had to walk into one province and it's over. <laughs> I got myself five war participation from that. Well, there you go. Sure, I didn't get up to too much, but I am disgustingly powerful, if you think about it. Mostly just because I own all of America. And uh, I have full compliance on it. But yeah, it's... um unsurprisingly to no one because every time I ever do Bulgaria and show off Bulgaria it is just disgustingly overpowered but now that I know about this focus over here it's just I think one of my favorite paths you can go is Bulgaria now uh, it's definitely not perfect compared to the other ones I much prefer getting uh, like the unification of the Balkans down or I think I think I can't even remember which one it is I'm still not sure I think it might be the fate of the Balkans or something the other one where you get puppets on them and demand them I can't even remember but either way, I think now that uh, I've done this path, I actually do really like it. Well, one, because you can just demand land if you go the left side over here, which, as you can see, I got myself a lot of land. And then combined with the fact you can do the reintegration stuff in the Balkans and get it all cored as well. I'm pretty sure I have literally, yeah, all of the Balkans cored, which is pretty damn good. Combined with the compliance growth, you are an absolute monster. Yeah, and if I could have been bothered, I probably could have pretty easily steamrolled uh, the axis if I wanted to. Um, just a bit of a headache to do. But uh, yeah, this is definitely very fun. I think one of the most fun paths we have done so far in this little series, so I definitely gotta recommend it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Focused Who's E, where we check out all the stupid folks as no one does, uh, you should also follow along because apparently there's quite a few that are quite good that I've never done. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe down below and uh, that Grigso Slavia shirt is still down there with the mighty uh, full third Bulgarian empire and its overseas territories seal of approval. So click that link down there and get it now. But uh, yeah, smell you later, guys. Goodbye.